With a great history of success, both on the field and in the concession stands, we're about to indulge in all the gourmet grub to see who will be the TROPS Rookie Item of the Year, and you're coming along. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Concession Critics Ballpark Bites. I'm Harrison Taylor, and today we're back here at Tropicana Field to try a taste of the TROP, everything that's new in 2024. Let's go. We just got back from the new Twisted Stand, which replaced my favorite beans and parlor. That's right, boozy milkshakes are out and soft pretzels are in. This you might be seeing all over social media. It's a cinnamon sugar pretzel bites. And you can see like they make these fresh, cut them up, toss them in cinnamon sugar, has some sweet icing on it too. Let's go ahead, give it a taste. So you think ballpark food, pretzel, like, Surely it can't be anything that impressive if you have Annie Ann's a million times. This stuff is so good, unbelievable. The pretzel is a little bit crunchier than you would normally expect from a super pretzel. The nice uh, sweetness from the powder, not powder sugar, brown sugar mixture on top of it. And that icing is almost like a cream cheese uh, glaze icing that you have on top of some cinnamon rolls. Like overall, this is a great catch here at Tropicana Field. Also the souvenir glove, I mean, can't go wrong with that. Who doesn't love a free take home? And for the price, it's a very good deal. So if we're looking on our pop point scale, this probably is going to be six out of six pop points, the highest you can get. The sweet pretzel isn't really your thing. You're looking for something a little bit more savory. Well, it got you covered with that too. It's the uh, everything pretzel. Could it have everything you need in a ballpark snack? We're about to find out. Like I said, we got poppy seeds, some chives, some sesame seeds the same pretzel as the other one with that uh, firm outside. Let's go dip it in this cheese sauce here. That's actually so disappointing. With how good this pretzel is with the butter and the cinnamon on it, this is so dry. The cheese sauce really just has a weird kind of beer cheesy flavor that's not really beer cheese. Um, and everything seasoning is fine, but I think it belongs on a bagel, not on a pretzel. So some butter would really save this. I would rather go with the sweet pretzel bites or last year's great footlong, uh, footlong pretzel dog has moved over to Twisted. So overall, this is probably two and a half out of six pop points. The fan favorite melted stand has been resurrected this season. You may remember back in 2021, we tried the short rib grilled cheese, which hit it out of the park. This year, alongside the gooey goodness, the trop has taken the ingredients and turned it into the loaded cheesesteak nachos. For slightly less than the grilled cheese, you get this massive portion of nachos, which comes in at $16.98. The chips are crunchy, and you can tell that they were made freshly in-house. The short rib was good as expected. The cheese sauce was a little one note, but the pepper relish gave it a nice kick on the back end. The first bite was just okay, but as we kept eating, it earns itself three pop points. But I would prefer the grilled cheese, not gonna lie. A few stations over on the Budweiser porch is a must visit on your trip to the Trop Pig and Potato. The home of my personal favorite footlong tater tot is debuting a duo of new dishes. The pretzel pork Reuben with slow smoked pork pastrami, soft pretzel bun, house sauerkraut, and mustard sauce for $15.49. And what caught my eye, the Korean corn dog. The potato crunch coating on the outside gave the dog a nice bite. Think of it more like a breadcrumb coating on a mozzarella stick than the typical rubbery corn batter coating. The dog had a nice spice to it, but it was not flaming. The spicy mayo had a nice balance to it as well. Inside the battered, the Fontina cheese is layered with hot dogs, which was a delicious pairing. I don't really know what I was expecting with this dog, but I was blown away, and I don't know if I could eat a regular corn dog again. This gets 5 out of 6 pop points. The Trop had a few other more traditional ballpark dishes that I did not try this visit, like the all-new Smash Burger with an Angus beef blend, iceberg lettuce, Roma tomato, and burst sauce. They also have the Southern Bird Chicken Sandwich with crispy fried chicken, arugula, dill pickle spread, and tomato jam. And finally, they have a whole new gluten-free concession stand offering gluten-free chicken tenders, among other things. So overall at the TROP, a lot of good new food, a lot of good returning food. I really don't think you can go wrong with any of the offerings at Tropicana Field. In fact, I think I saw more people eating these fun twists on ballpark foods than the classic dogs and burgers. So, it's time for the ultimate question. Who won Tropicana Field's Rookie Food Item of the Year for 2024? 
Well, I'm happy to announce that it's none other than the Viral Sweet Pretzel Bites. I seriously cannot hype these enough. The sugary sweetness mixed with the vanilla caramel drizzle and the cream cheese-like dipping sauce was an explosion of flavor that I can't wait to try again on my next visit. Well, thank you for joining me here at Tropicana Field. Be sure to leave a like and comment down below. Be sure to subscribe. We just passed a thousand subscribers and I'll catch you guys next time.